YouTube. We're we're pun intended here. We're eating well. We're feeding well here for Blood Hunt. Uh, we had the Visions trailer. We've had the Battle Pass trailer, and now we get the Narrative Launch trailer. I was at work. I, I, I literally put up the Battle Pass one, went to work, went and got my paycheck, did my paycheck run, got back to work, sat down, looked at my phone, and saw that we had the Narrative Launch trailer up. So I'm excited. I want to see what the narrative looks like, because I'm always, I always love the lore of this sort of stuff. It's one of the big things that I love about Apex. It's one of the big things I love about Overwatch. So with Blood Hunt being the new game that uh, me and Panix have been really excited about, and we're going to be playing, hopefully, once or twice a week, um, along with everything else that I've been doing, hopefully this, this draws me in as much as I think it will. I'm excited, nonetheless. So here we go. This is the narrative launch trailer. Beyond the thin veil of reality lies a world of darkness. Okay. You know this, my son. Yes, father. Unholy creatures preying on God's children, like filthy leeches on blood wounds. Our brothers found them in Prague, father, hiding in plain sight. Mm. They're having a secret meeting in their god Holy shit. haven. Let me go there, father. <laughs> their secret meeting is no more. Deception, my son. Now, they will blame each other for a treason they could not expect. Oh, shit. Yo, what? That was aggressive. Yeah! Bloodthirsty bastards. Indeed. And how will they react when it dawns on them that they've been deceived? We wage war. Not a girl. Not a girl. The Lord is our savior, and he has shown us the way. Um Fucking excuse me? Let the blood hunt begin. What? Well, hold a second. We're gonna go one more time. I will pause it every now and then, though, this time. So we're gonna turn the volume down a little bit. Um. Beyond the thin veil of reality lies a world of darkness. You know this, my son. Yes, father. That the the tonal voice, the tonal change in that guy's voice, right? From the from from the father to the person that's kissing the ring makes me feel like that is a vampire. This is a vampire that has now been like, you know what? No, we're gonna we're we're changing shot sides. We're you know, we're gonna work for, you know, the church. Basically, we're gonna become one of those, you know. Knights or whatever the fuck they are, you know, there, but one of those guys, right? One of the people of the church. That's what it sounds like to me. That's what it seems like. Unholy creatures preying on God's children, like filthy leeches on blood wounds. I could be wrong. Our brothers found them in Prague, Father. I do, I do, and this is another little subtle thing. I do like this, uh, uh, true... 
Troubadour, 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 Troubadour. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Someone's going to correct me in the comments, please. Thank you. Um, I like the fact that they're portraying her as um, kind of like um, very uh, um, like innocent in this whole thing. Um, with it being more of the healer sort of class, I find that kind of cool. Um, and then at the end, they fucking just pop off. Hiding in plain sight. And then there's the Nes Nesferatu, right? They're having a secret meeting in their godforsaken haven. Let me go there, father. <laughs> their secret meeting is no more. So they burned the church. My son. Now. They will blame each other for a treason they could not expect. So the church is the church is basically you, you burned down their their home where they were hiding, and has basically made it so there's the the war between the three clans or the four clans now with uh, the venture with the venture 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 or venture. Let me know about that one too. Um, but, so basically, the the church has made it so there's basically, like, clan wars. That's what it sounds like to me. And they think it's all inter, actually, like, they actually, everyone has started it. Like, this person, you started it, no, you started it. When really, the church started it. Oh, shit. Visually, this is a great trailer. It captures everything that this game is, really. Crazy movement, crazy characters. Vile, just ultra-violent. Thirsty bastards. Indeed. And how will they react when it dawns on them that they've been deceived? We wage war. The Lord is our savior, and he has shown us the way. I'm wondering. I'm a I'm gonna say it right now. Let the blood hunt begin. That's such a great line right there. Let the blood hunt begin. I'm gonna say this right now. I think eventually this guy here, whoever the fuck this guy is, I think this will be a playable class in the game. I think eventually they'll have the, like, we have the, uh, like I said, I'm probably going to butcher most of these, but we have the Bruja, we have the Nesferatu, we have the Troubadour, we have uh, the uh, 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 Ventru, right, classes. Those are all the different clans. I, I have a sneaky feeling that they will throw this in eventually as a class. So there's a human class in between everyone. And like the, like the suit here allows him to climb the walls, but he won't have, like, the, like if he has a dash, it's going to be like a, like a jump sort of thing, right? It's all going to be based off of the suit that this guy's wearing. And he's going to have a sword, and like, I... Just throwing it out there, random thing. This is cool, though. I really like this. This is an interesting narrative of this is why they're fighting, right? Because every game, it's interesting, right? Apex... The lore for Apex is that it's the uh, it's the Apex games, right? Everyone's fighting in the games, um, so that's that's that one, right? The lore for this is that there's a, the clan wars have started because the church has, has has made the clans think that each one of them are fighting against each other, um, and eventually, as it sounds like, eventually they will turn and fight against these guys, which make that's why it makes me think that we will get this as a character, which I think would be kind of cool. I think it'd be kind of cool to have a random human character in the game. It'd be just like if they slowly started adding in subtly. I mean, I mind you, I know this is from Vampire the Masquerade, not no lore 
idea on any of that stuff. Um, it'd be kind of interesting to see if they started adding in um, other uh, classical kind of uh, monsters into this as well as playable classes. But who knows? Right? Who knows? I'm excited nonetheless. I can't wait to play this tonight. I'm kind of amazed that there's been three fucking trailers today um, or within the last few days. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What's some of your guys' theories? I want to know some theories from you guys, right? What do you think is going to happen as the story develops, right? And as always, depending on where you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Still trouble, stay safe. And we will talk to you all later. Bye. George, what do you think? You like that guy? You don't like vampires? No one, no one's gonna hurt you, George. No one's gonna trust me. While I'm here, no one's gonna hurt you. Okay, okay. Just, I just want to make sure that you know that. All right.